Welcome to United About Trucks. I'm uh, in this shop, no electricity. So we can't use this lift. And these guys think I should go lay in the ground out here on the gravel and change the fuel system in the green truck. So that's probably what we're doing. Here's the green truck, smoky 1990 V3500 crew cab. And we've got the fuel system, at least for the passenger side. So we're gonna try to get that on today and uh then we're gonna worry about all this other stuff you can see there goes a power truck I need to go fix my lift so i'm gonna drag some cardboard out here and uh find all the parts let's go inside i'll show you the parts we're gonna be using to hopefully get this fuel system all sorted out hang on there's anna so we're gonna push the green truck in with with this as my butchers the ground we're gonna pull it first get it up here and then push it all the way in got to get the chain you ever seen two dudes carry a chain look at this <laughs> look he's got his own GoPro show him that hair Mike Mike got the flow son Think Wes, yo yawner. You know. <laughs> I'm just aggravating Wes. Sorry about the LED flicker, but we've got a new tank, new fuel pump, new nozzle filler situation here, and uh, we're gonna throw all that stuff in. Hopefully, we can get this thing running. But we're gonna start with the fuel system. Damn. Show them that's all rusted out in there. <clears throat> This in here, YouTube world. This is Robbie's rusty pool. You're making this totally unusable footage. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is take this loose out here, and then we can take we can take it loose from the inside and just drop the whole thing, straps and all. I'm trying to get a picture of you working through the crack on here. <laughs> no, it's work. Yeah, I'm gonna jack on this gigantic tank. I hope everything I've got works for this. We'll find out. We may want two so we're not having to do balance. Alright. I don't want to be that guy, but... You can be that guy. You guys are acting like you're about to lift up 700 pounds. Well, it's a good 80 pounds and 56 inches long or something like that, so... Hey Mike, what's this? That turns the light on. Damn! Hey, which, where am I? Position Oh, yeah, you're good. Come back. What? Yep, that's fine. What are you doing, man? We do want to. Alright. Man, I got them toes, son. So we're taking this out, because look at that. That looks disgusting. YouTube ain't been paying to do this lately. Yeah, is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we can tell everybody. Yeah, be like, could y'all watch more of our stuff so, uh... We can have light in the shop. We can have light in the shop. This is what we're doing. We're filming this entire episode on one GoPro because I'm being that lazy, so. Because you lost the other one? Well, I did lose one, that's for sure. Cheers, Cheers. to Mike, and Anna, beer. and Wesley's beer. <laughs> <laughs> Got some cold beer. Y'all take a big look at Smokey in here. This thing is gigantic. Just a big truck. Wes, 
here's your beer that Mike drank part of. Okay, Wes. You're gonna snap these off? Yeah, you're busting them under and I'm, I'll mess with the filler. Peace. That filler looks like it's just gonna fall off. I don't think it is, cause it's in that, the neck of that. The neck? Mm -hmm. That beer is crisp. Freaking tasty, man. Yeah, it is. So tasty. Oh. All right. Yeah, you still got about half of that sucker. Thirsty, bro. Thank you, bro. Don't worry about that little guy. Water, maybe? One quarter. Yeah, my, we have a break to the bottom of the bell. Oh, so that's, that's, there's something there. I'm already down here. Everybody's freaking out. Oh, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out that something's gonna drip on me. Well, I don't know, that's true. Or something's some, gonna crawl on you. Some I don't mind the crawling. Are you sure it's from Texas? Who knows what's under there? And just see if it'll it'll come towards the outside of the body. Yeah, I feel like this is all gonna end up in my face. It is. At least it's not too muddy over here. That's you ready? Yep. Let me have a lighter up Did I get them all? No, you're missing one on the top over there. Look. Uh, maybe let down on the jack a little bit. Just to, here, I'll get out and do that. It only needs, because I think it maybe got caught on the floor. I'm sticking me with that. Do I need that, uh, another one of those fuel transfer switches? You want both your tanks to work? I mean, I do, but I need a new tank over there. All right, see if it'll come out now. Is it moving at all? I mean, yeah, it is, but it's not moving enough to... Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure... Something ain't right. Something, something don't feel like... Something's stuck. I feel like the last time I did this, this is much easier. When did you do it? Took out rods. I cut my wrist, man. Oh, this is gonna end up in my lap. Uh, I think it's stuck back there, Wes. Yeah. Where at? I think your bracket's stuck in there. My bracket's about to come out. Like mine's out. Okay, so you get yours out. And... See, I see what you're saying. I mean, these bolts aren't coming through, but. There it goes. Nope, there, there it goes. Oh! Oh, golly. You just pushed well, it back in, you butthole. Well, this one was about to. <laughs> Why is this being such a pain? Alright. Let her down? Yep, do something cool. We're coming on down. Coming out far. Alright, please hold. Alright, now you gotta do these lines. Yeah, push that all the way. I guess I'm probably about to wear some fuel in my face. I right. smell that. It's bad. Ooh. I didn't even gas. What is that? I don't know. Dude. Sun's out, electricity's on. And I have no idea what's gonna put in that gas tank. It certainly ain't gas. Ooh, that kinda made me feel lightheaded. I mean, it is from Texas. It could be anything from freaking vodka to margarita to- That's true. Some black gold. Some crude. Mm. You can keep the damn crowbar. I don't want your crowbar, Wesley. That's your crowbar. Huh? It's going to come off of this. Yeah. There's nothing there. It's, right, now it's, it's down. empty. Oh, is it? Yeah. Gates? Anna, what are you doing? Nothing. Dang. Nothing. What an answer. Okay, so we're gonna go get the other tank. You have another tank? Yeah, I got another tank. Oh. Yeah, we ain't cleaning this one out. So I got another tank, another fuel pump, even though that one looks great, but boy, we smelled something 
Like I don't know what in this thing. We didn't even pop the tank off and see what's in it. Mike, you said seven didn't even mil? smell like fuel at all. What? He said seven mil, which there was one down there, I thought. Yep, no, I said ten millimeter. Man. Playoff. What was the other thing you said? Seven sixteenths? Yeah. So yeah, we've got let me find it. I don't even know what I've done with all this stuff. Other tanks in the back of my black truck. So there's the new filler panel piece. And we've got a new pump sender situation there. Dude. It's not the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. It's got something in it. Oh dude, look, this damn thing's split. <laughs> oh man. Check that out. Here's another issue. Tank's gotta be split in it out whatever that nasty is man dude smell it water is it yep it just looks like water well you could probably drink it it reeks not drinking it yeah i don't know why you did that you gotta be sure man all right so now we're gonna open this tank transfer the uh straps to it reuse the hoses hopefully that'll be okay and then uh Put this thing back in the truck, crank it, see if it works, then figure out why it doesn't have brakes. It's the next move. So Mike figured out how all this comes back out, out of the tank and, uh, well, it comes out the way it goes in as you poured it all over the floor. That's what was in that tank. Not gas. And why it wouldn't run. Water and a lot of little rust particles. And I mean a lot. Look at this damn thing. Yeah, just split all down the side. Well, I like how it's split where it's not been like clamped. Yeah, right. Everything else has been like bent all the way down, but it's split where it's not bent. Yeah, this thing just needs some fluid in it. All right guys, so uh, while Mike's making a temporary filler neck because we didn't have the right, or I didn't have the right part, I'm checking the brake fluid, it's about to check the oil, and yeah, hopefully we're gonna get prepared to drive this thing. Who knows if it's actually gonna happen. That's what we're trying. So it looks like we got plenty of fresh oil in it. It's probably from where Tony was changed it and was driving it. it doesn't appear to be leaking any because it is slap full over the moon full all right so we got plenty of oil trey just showed up we'll probably put him to work i'm just kidding <laughs> happy father's day trey <laughs> all right so while mike's finishing that up we've got our lock ring and little gasket for our fuel and cinder i'm gonna go ahead and get that in all right so new cinder so we got the gasket in there all right so there's that that's what your assembly looks like you got the you go gasket fuel sender, pump, lock ring. And now we're just gonna reuse these hoses off of this tank because they've been replaced before. So it's, I think it's return vent pressure. Unless you've got a ground and operate your fuel pump. So I'm gonna pull these off real quick, throw them over on this tank, y'all hang tight. Mike's temporary work as he tries to get his in that <laughs> in that hose. Let me try it. Let me make sure it works. Nah, Mike don't go around and creep no more. Too bougie. Fully assembled. Now we're gonna get it on the truck and put hopefully that five gallon. Well, we're gonna definitely put that five gallons of gas in it. Let's just hope it runs. Mike made us some uh, put us some little pads on here to keep it from. Give it a push, Mike. And it's on trigger duty. Mm. I'm just trying to get GoPro set up. What's the problem? Not getting any fuel? 
That sucks. Why would that be? Well, we're currently not getting any fuel through the fuel lines. Fuel pump's kicking on for sure. Is it leaking fuel anywhere? There is a giant puddle, but I think it's water. Man, it's freaking working. How come it ain't pushing? Oh yeah, it's getting all over the intake. Hold on a second. Hold on, Anna. Hold on. No, cut the key off. All right, do it again. So Trey, mm -hmm. what happened, man? Do it again. The battery was too dead. The battery was too low and the fuel pump wouldn't pump hard enough. And now we get a little fuel in this job. Just keep doing it. You just have to give it a minute and then do it again. We got a lot to pump out of here. And now it's running. So guys, I just learned something. You probably already knew this. Maybe you didn't. You gotta have a fully charged battery, proper voltage to work the fuel pump in these trucks. If it's a little dead, apparently it won't run. Apparently it won't pump fuel. But now it's pumping fuel. So we're gonna stick at this for a minute and then uh, hopefully we'll be showing you this thing fire up in about, I don't know, maybe half an hour. Hang tight. Hey Trey, mm -hmm. where's that little jug of fluid that we just pumped out of this fuel system? Yeah, oh yeah. We gotta show you guys this. This is what we just pumped out of the fuel system. That's rust, water, old fuel, nastiness. Hey Mike, how much money would it take for you to drink this? No. No? I mean, not even a sip? You'd have more heartburn. You'd have heart death. Can be drinking them beers. All right, guys. I guess we're gonna try to fire this thing up. All right, we're in park. You ready, Mike? Sure, bro. Any leaks? No. I'm gonna turn the key. Is it firing on the other side too? Yeah, it was firing. You ready? Yep. Yeah. Sounds like I don't have enough juice. Yeah. No, it's probably spraying all that shitty gas out of the throttle body right now. Uh. Let me let it charge for a minute or give it a, give it a go. Hold on a second. Yeah, just let it sit there, man. Ready? Yeah. Stay in it. Yeah, man. Alright, we're gonna let it charge. Alright, we're giving it some more juice. Let me juice it up on some steroids. He juice, said he juice. didn't want to get the forklift optima out. Alright, we're ready. If that thing starts this truck. Oh yeah. We got the world's tiniest battery in there, but you know, Mike comes up with stuff occasionally. Y'all ready? I don't think we're there yet. Yeah, dude, this thing's not even at 13 now. That battery ain't gonna work. Go that's a gold series, man. Yeah, that's a, this Dura is a, gold. see, we had an Everstart Plus. We've upgraded to the Duralast Gold, Robbie. We switched to a yellow top Optima. Maybe, maybe. Why? It's like it wants to. It's registering lower than 13, too. It's registering lower than the other battery. Dang, man. We're having battery issues in this shop.
your progress. I'm trying to start it again. All right. Got it running, baby. Actually, Trey and Mike did, and it's running well. Man, all the gauges are working. All the gauges work. Smoking us out. All right, guys. Whoa, let me turn this this way. So, uh, I'll turn that on so we got a little light, but we got brakes. Oh yeah, we got brakes. Hey Anna, tell me if I'm going to hit something. God, we got power steering? Brakes? Some crazy rattle over here? No mirrors? We got good brakes. I think we're ready. I don't know. I'm more ready. Huh? Oh, you don't want to drive it up there? Come on. zero lights on this vehicle period no tail lights no tail lights what about brake lights we don't have a, i don't know we didn't check we're gonna go left no it's still it's twilight out so we're good dude really this freaking thing is ready to rock i mean other than the things that you just stated <laughs> what were those Lights. No light. Oh yeah, yeah. But I'm talking talking about, about. I'm talking about mechanically. The wipers work. I have no idea, dude. We are driving this. Let me make sure this thing's got them brakes. Got them full stop brakes. Hey man, look at that tape deck. Ooh. Got a tape deck. Oh, man, is that a Kenwood? We got nothing as far as anything electronic or uh I just stick my head out the window and make random noises at me. Yeah, like I thought that was headlights. Good thing is I can just run off the side of the Good thing is I can just <laughs> run off the side of the road in this beast. Yeah, that's what we should do. Is take this vehicle that everybody's trying to buy from you and crash it into the woods. <laughs> cut this off because it's getting kind of dark and I can't even see. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to leave it off as a safety measure. Oh, yeah. Well, Mike could just hang out the window screaming. I, I don't think they'll see his, his, uh, his tail. Have you seen his hair? Yeah, his hair looks amazing. It's flapping in the wind right now. Mike, what are we doing, man? Admiring my hair, dude. Okay, aside from that, what did we just get done uh, that you were a gigantic help on? We, man, you might have done it. Fuel system upgraded. I don't know when the last time this thing ran. I guess, I think it was 2019. I really don't know. But, it sure is running now. Mike and Trey trouble shot this thing. I was at a loss. I don't have any idea. Ready to throw on the towel, weren't you? I was, yep. The 
brakes are really good. Says you. Says me. I did not remember this being this long. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get down to that little turnaround. Yeah, ain't nobody driving this on tonight. Ain't nobody got no lights. I would though. Cause this thing's running good. <laughs> hey, you should do a burnout. That sounds like a stupid idea. <laughs> It's freaking red. Yeah, it's freaking out. It's got bugs on it. No, it's all right. Um, I think, I think ten thousand dollars at some overnight parts from Japan. I think. Oh, it'd be a bad one. Did we get a Duramax? Give me two of the big ones. I just like how indestructible it feels. Give me two of the big ones. Hey, pull it up just a little bit. And I'm gonna finish this video out. All right. All right, guys. Well, you can see we drove this thing up and down the road. So. Big thanks to Mike and Trey for getting this thing running. We kept running into issue after issue after replacing the fuel system. And the first issue was we didn't have enough voltage to, uh, to basically get the pump to push all the PSI it's supposed to up to the throttle body. Finally got that taken care of. And once it started finally pushing fuel, then the injectors were clogged. So we got those undone and I can't believe the thing runs up and down the road like it does pretty amazing but uh right now i'm gonna jump in this thing with mike and we're just gonna go down there and turn around and come back but appreciate you guys watching i'm so pumped smoky bear runs yeah mike smoky bear runs oh yeah yeah like a champ like a champ do the music